So let's talk a little bit about relational and NoSQL databases. We've talked about the who, the what, and the why of data modeling. Now let's start focusing on how to do this for each type of database. Relational and non-relational databases do data modeling differently. And by learning about the difference between these two types of databases, we will learn why they have to be we have to take different approaches to data modeling. So let's first focus on relational databases. The relational model. This model organizes data into one or more tables, or relations, of columns and rows with a unique key identifying each row. Generally, each table represents one entity type, such as your customer, your product, think along those lines. So here we have just an example. Here is our tuple, or row. We have our attribute, or column. And then the whole thing is called a relation, or a table. So at a very basic level, a table is a collection of rows and columns. A relational database is a, data, is a digital database based on the relational model of data. A software system used to maintain relational databases is a relational database management system, or RDBMS. The relational model and the relational database were invented at IBM and by Edgar Codd in the late 60s and early 70s. It is a digital database that is modeled after the relational model of data. The software system to maintain a relational database is referred to as an RDBMS. So just a note here, you will hear this term a lot, so become familiar with this acronym, which again stands for the Relational Database Management System. So SQL, or Structured Query Language, is the language used across almost all relational database systems for querying and maintaining the database. So SQL is the language that you will use to interact with the database. So some common types of relational databases. Here I've just listed very few, and, and there's many more, but here are just some of the highlights. We have Oracle, Teradata, MySQL, Postgres, and SQLite. I've roughly ordered these in order of enterprise production readiness. Oracle is used by almost every enterprise as their system of truth that handles ACID transactions. More on this later banking systems, etc., run on Oracle. In contrast, SQLite is a database in file format and is generally used in development or for extremely simple tasks in an application. So let's continue on the basics. A database, or in some database systems, is called a schema, is a collection of tables. A table, or a relation, is a group of rows sharing the same labeled elements, or columns. So here we have our database and schema, again, collection of tables. Our tables or relations is a group of rows sharing the same labeled elements. So let's look at our customer table here. So our customer table, this in this case it's a table, so it's probably living inside, being housed in a database. And so it has a variety of columns, name, email, and city. And then the rows here. We have columns or attributes, which is the labeled elements, again, in this case, our name, email, or city. And then we have rows and tuples. So in the, this example, it would be a single item. So it may be the first row in my table, which is Amanda, and my email, Jane Doe at XYZ, and City, NYC. 